Welcome everyone, this is Bill Mack here with Making Impact News, Reviews, and Previews. Thanks for joining me. This is part of my Pro Wrestling Unleashed uh, playlist and glad you folks could join me. If you like this video, uh, at the end of the video, please drop a like on it, subscribe to my channel if you're new to it, and also if you are or if you're not, share this video with other Impact Wrestling fans as I try to give you the reviews and previews, my predictions on the weekly episodes of Impact Wrestling that come on Thursdays, 8 p.m. on Pop TV. So this, of course, is coming on the heels two more weeks. We have the Slammiversary 16 pay-per-view coming up, and we're looking forward to that. A lot of storylines going on in today's episode, a lot of matches that happened on the episode to, on the show tonight that have become official matches added to the card already of Slammiversary. So let's get right into the episode. And we begin the matchup with the OGs, which is a combination of Homicide and Hernandez, as you remember them, they were formed the old LAX group. Uh, they're now with King. Last week, they attacked Conan and the new LAX. So this week, we get to see uh, Hernandez and Homicide with King at ringside. Uh, as the, Like I said, they're now known as the OGs with a Z. Uh, they take on a couple of local jobbers, and this really isn't too much of a matchup. Of course, this is just to as of always, to reestablish uh, Hernandez and Homicide, they end up defeating the jobbers by Hernandez doing the border toss onto one of them. So this looks like a feud I'm going to see. Old versus new. Uh, new, uh, new blood in King, in King trying to take out the, the old dog in Conan, of course, uh, with his group. So looking forward to this. This has been a good feud. For the past month or so since King put the hit out on Conan, it wasn't known until last week. It was revealed that King was the one to put the hit out on Conan. King took over. He turned LAX around. LAX got their titles, and they're back where they're at. But as we see now, last week they got attacked by Hernandez and Homicide, the OG. So we look for this to, uh, look to be added to the card somewhere within the episode. Up next, we have a debut, Shotzi Blackheart. Of course, she is from the Rise um, Federation, and she's getting a shot against no none other than Allie, who returned last week. Good to see Allie back uh, after her matchup with uh, uh, Sue Young. Shotzi put up a little bit of offense, but we see, of course, Allie gets the win. I would have much had rather seen Shotzi if she's gonna if she's as good as bring giving her an audition basically in a match with Allie, put her in there with someone lesser known. Now I understand with the experience of Allie, but I'd much rather have seen uh Shotzi in there with someone if you're gonna establish her well enough to be a, a formidable opponent in the knockouts division. Nonetheless, Allie goes outside to celebrate her victory. All of out of nowhere, Tessa Blanchard of course has comes out, throws Allie into the Barrier on the outside, it ends up getting her in the ring and hitting her finisher on in the ring as she DDTs her just right into the right into the mat, and she leaves Allie standing. So we see the bad blood continuing on between Tessa and Allie, who is returning. We then are cut to a video sh uh, that is shown of Eddie Edwards and his obsession the last couple few months this long-standing feud he has had with Sammy has literally drove Eddie crazy you know Sammy first was after Eddie, Eddie thought he was after his wife he went to the when Eddie was in the hospital when he got his eye busted from the baseball bat then they have a woods match where they're fighting in the woods and then when he thought it was over with Sammy gets beat then we see Tommy trying to dreamer trying to come in calm him down, you know, saying you can't obsess over this guy, you can't let him get in your head, and then Eddie gets the idea that he thinks Tommy is uh, is sleeping with Eddie's wife, Alicia, and then he goes and attacks Tommy Dreamer at the House of Hardcore last week, then we see this, and at the end, it, Tommy states that 
if Sammy's going to be uh, the obsession of Eddie, then Eddie's going to be the obsession of Tommy Dreamer. So look look for that match, a house of hardcore match added to the Slammiversary uh, 16 card. We have a backstage segment uh, between Eli Drake and Grado. Well, this is actually this happened before the Eddie Edwards. Grado didn't want to get ahead of myself here. Grado and Eddie Edwards have a brief encounter backstage. Eli's trying to play a little mind games with Grado when he's trying to flirt, say a few words to uh, Katarina, and he's trying to flirt with her a little bit as he uh, goes out to the ring. Or he go and leaves the area. Then we see Tessa. She they interview her on why she attacked Allie. She simply says, "Look, Allie's all about this doing good and doing the right thing." And I'm just tired of seeing her ever since I've come back in here. She's always, "Oh, I'm trying to do the right thing," and I'm just tired of seeing that. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take Allie out, and I'm going to tell show her the results of what happens when you try to do the right thing. So. Look forward to that uh, that happening at Slammiversary as well. Uh, then we have the segment with Eddie Edwards. So I don't want to jump ahead of myself here. I don't want to get too too much ahead. Um, we have a, a backstage segment with Austin Aries, AA himself, the Impact World Champion. He talks about Moose, his upcoming Moose training for his upcoming matchup at Slammiversary for the Impact World Championship. He also talks about how D'Angelo Williams is coming tonight to give us an update on Moose and Moose's training. And Mr. AA himself says he wants to be there to personally welcome him into his ring. So that remains to be seen on what's going to happen. We cut back. We have the GWN uh, match of the week. Flashback match is, of course, a last knockout standing match. This came from uh, back in Slammiversary 11. This was between Gail Kim versus Taryn Terrell when both were actually opposite. Okay? Gail Kim was the fa heel and Taryn Terrell was the face. They had a good matchup, and this was back the times when they had that ramp elevated that led to the ring. The ending shows where Taryn Terrell ends up hitting Gail Kim with a cutter off the ramp, and she ends up getting the win because – Gail Kim is no longer able to make the 10 count. So, anyways, we come up to D'Angelo Williams. He's talking about what he's been up to, his training uh, with Moose, and he talks a little bit about Austin Aries. Aries comes out. Aries ends up attacking D'Angelo by hitting him when he wasn't looking with the microphone and then hits him with the chair. So he wants to send a message to Moose. And when they come back from commercial, Moose is on the phone. Moose said he receives the message. He said, look, you don't mess with my friends. I'll be back next week at Impact, and we'll see what you'll do then. Uh, we have Eli Drake taking on, uh, well, we see a segment with KM and Fala Ba and the Desi Hit Squad, and we see some animosity and so going back and forth between them. So I look within the next week or so of discontinuing. We might see a few between these two uh, these two tag teams uh, within the next week or two. Remains to be seen. Eli Drake up next, taking on a match Grado. This is a squash match with Grado. Grado doesn't put up much offense. Eli hits the gravy train. We see Eli stirring the pot a little bit as he's leaving. Grado's recovering, and he's trying to say that Joe Hendry and Katarina may have something going on between them, and she's just using Grado. Remains to be seen on where that little plot line goes, but as you can say, it is Eli is definitely stirring the pot. We see Alicia Atout backstage. She's interviewing Matt Seidel about his upcoming matchup, X Division Championship match at Slammiversary against Brian Cage. She talks about how Brian Cage is the is the underdog. He doesn't have the third eye like Matt Seidel does. And he basically talks about how he is going to win his matchup and retain his X Division title. And before we get finished, folks, we'll take a pause and we'll be right back. So just hold on real quick, real tight. And we're back from a little bit of break. Thanks, folks. So just winding it down here. We have a few more things to discuss here. We have um, it is breaking news that 
it is a Dean official now. Of course, Tessa Blanchard will be taking on Allie at Slammiversary. So this is a matchup. As I said earlier, I'm looking forward to see Allie, of course, returning. And Tessa has been running rampant through ever since she's made a really an impact on impact since she came in in a redemption a few months ago and she has made her her presence known and felt so it looks i look forward to seeing this i'm a big fan of tesla's i think she is a really uh good wrestler i've seen her wrestle even uh, other wrestlers on youtube channels and other wrestling promotions this she's going to be a great asset to them as, as she has signed a long-term contract with impact wrestling so a great addition to the roster we have a backstage segment with madison rain which kind of turns weird because alicia tout is is starting to interview madison and ask her about her matchup against sue young at slammiversary for the knockouts championship all of a sudden she looks over and sees the bottom of a dress a white dress go through the door and she starts to follow it into this room the, room, the door is locked. She can't get out. Once she opens it up, she looks and the camera cuts back to the ring. And we go to our main event, which, as you see, is Rich Swan, Pentagon Jr., and Phoenix taking on Sammy Callahan and OVE. Folks, this was a good main event. I thought there was a lot of action in it. Uh, Sammy, of course, hits his, uh, hits his driver. Uh, and he doesn't get the the win. He doesn't get the pin. Pentagon, of course, Pentagon driver. He hits it. Doesn't get the pin. And Sammy kicks out. Of course, we also see the fear factor between between Phoenix and between Pentagon Junior Land. It doesn't work. When ending comes down, Rich Swan is going to hit his splash on the Sammy in the ring. We see Jake Chris get on the other side of the ring and. He gets on the top rope, and as Rich Swan goes to hit his dive, we see uh, Jake Chris come across and catch him and intercept him and hit a cutter from the top rope. This allows Sammy Callahan to hit his uh, finisher called the Get Out of Here, which is basically like a neck, sort of like a shoulder breaker, but it, it was a good move. I thought it was a good move, and he ends up getting the win. The winners of the matchup are OVE, of course, and they go and check and Pentagon and Phoenix check on Rich Swan as the as they go to the back. So then we finally cut back before the show ends. It cuts back to Madison. She opens up the door. It's pitch black. She goes into the for she sees the forest instead of the building which she was in. She sees the forest and she starts trying to chase the undead bride. And then all of a sudden, all the undead brides come out and surround her. She covers up. Then she look, holds her arms up, looks around, doesn't see anyone there. And then we see Sue Young come up behind Madison Rain as it cuts to the end of the show. So we see a lot of things happen. We see Shotzi Blackheart debut. We see the match between Tessa Blanchard and Allie made official. We also see... Um, we also see the match between Brian Cage and Seidel talked about. We see Moose, uh, Brent mentioned his friend D'Angelo Williams this, uh, mentioned about Moose's championship match against double uh, against a double Austin Aries for the title, and I'm looking forward to it. So a lot going on. Still another less than two weeks to go. We'll see what happens next week on the episode of Impact Wrestling. I will get that out to you once I can. And I hope you folks enjoyed the, the video here. If you have, I'll try to continue making them. It only depends on the views. If I get enough views, to do it. But if you like Impact Wrestling and you want to get the results, you want to hear them, or you're not able to catch the show, this is the place to get them. So once again... This is Bill Mack here with the Impact, uh, Making Impact news previews and reviews for part of my Pro Wrestling Unleashed uh, playlist on YouTube. Everyone take care. Have a good one. Until next time, it's Bill Mack said, take it easy.